Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. It's 825, and I'm here with the artist, the sculptor, the creator, Josh Rosen, Rosen himself, and these are his wonderful creations. Good morning, Josh. How are you doing today? I'm good. How about you? Doing great. Now, I was fortunate enough to spend a few hours last week with Josh at his exhibit. Let's talk all about that first. It's right now at the Colquitt County Art Center. That's correct. So, and very exciting. You can see all of his little creations. I was very, it was exciting. I didn't know the place existed, but it was very nice. It's been there for three months. I'll be getting it, and it's going to the next gallery, what? the 24th of this month. You're just so all over the place. I'm going to be all over the place now. I'm booked till December of next year in galleries, so it's turned out good. It was a good step stone at Colquitt County, whatever it's called. Absolutely. I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely, and we were fortunate enough to have him here on Good Day. So we have a few of your little creations. Little creations, these, these little, are pretty big. Little was big prices. There you go, there you go. So, little big things, like me, I was always a short kid. So <laughs> some little things come in big packages. There you go. But you, do you call these monsters, creatures? I call, well, the name of the company is The Hands That Make the Monsters. Okay. Because my kids always said, my daddy makes monsters. So I, How I named is it that. that. But yeah, they're 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 monsters, I guess. Okay. Oh, they're they're not so monstrous. So, These are my darker ones. The other ones, there's, there's a lot of different styles. They're friendly and. He's got a little bit of everything. A little but, bit of everything. But you make them. The interesting thing is, you make these out of trash, trash. recycling. Yeah. So but old, you've got a old little... sticks and old garbage. Anytime y'all throw away a computer or a TV, I get it and I take it and destroy it, and this is what it becomes. But the neat thing is, you kind of have a history in recycling. Yeah, I do. My family had a recycling business here, and there's a bunch of trash around me with all these cool colors. And that's what got me started with the actually making art. I had a lot of free time on my hands, but it was container waste services. It was here. A lot of mm. people know about it because it was an eyesore. But it was trash, and we turned trash to treasure then, and now I'm turning trash to treasure on my own. With Absolutely. these sticks and metal and leather. Okay, so let's talk about some of these uh, creations that you've made. This is your newest one. I guess we'll start with this because it's definitely the most uh, eye-popping one for one. sure. It's ugly. No, it's ugly, it's ugly not in a good ugly. way. Ugly, funky, funky, ugly. But tell me a little bit about this. Well, this is called the Murder Dog, and it's part of three of them that actually go together in a story that I wrote about a mermaid that gets caught in a fisherman's net. Well, actually, catches her on a mer bait. But okay. He catches her with a lure. I guess you have lure. to read the story. For he that catches one. her with a lure. Yeah. Anyway, it's part of a three three sculpture story. But this is my newest one. It's the Murder Dog. It's made out of wood, copper, and a leather shoe, and a bunch of computer parts. So this, I guess the base was a shoe? No, this is all wood. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the only shoe part, would be the mouth. Okay, now I see it. And then you got old copper tubing off of something. So when you go to create something like this, what is going through your mind? It's pretty self-explanatory. A lot of weird well, stuff. I'm not, I'm just, I've never had anything like this things. going through my mind. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it's just like, I, if I can see a piece of rusted metal and I can say, that's going to be this, or I can see a piece of wood and that's going to be this. So they just come to life as I see it. Wow, very neat. It's so, not premeditated. All right, well, we're going to hear more from Josh and more of his story in a little bit. But Kelly, what you got going on over there?